next. Hey, Quagmire, is that a banana in your pocket or a erection in your pocket? Do you want to say nine o'clock? Sure. See you then. Oh, my God. I'm in love. Time for dinner, sweetie. Uh, very well, then. Take off your shirt. No, honey. No, no. Tonight we're going to have formula instead. <laughs> ah! Oh, that's more disgusting than when Peter went through that Daisy Dukes phase. So who's up for some hoops at the park, eh? Oh, there you are. Come here, you basketball. Oh! It's like a walrus flossing. Now, I know it's different than you're used to, but you'll see it's just as good. Oh, yes, that's what we were promised about Jim Belushi some 25 laugh-free years ago. Wow, it's so lovely here, Glenn. Well, this is our three-week anniversary, Joan. I wanted this date to be special. You know, this place is unique because if you're lucky, some nights around sunset, the screaming black dolphins come out. Oh, wow, really? I've heard they're just beautiful. What's going on, man? What's oh, what's going on yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I was drowned yesterday. Oh, man. It's wet out here. Oh, look at them. They're magical, aren't they? Listen, Joan, I have something very important to ask you. Hey, Jay. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna see how long I can hold my breath. I see you breathing out your hole. What is it, Glenn? Joan, I've decided I want to spend my life with you. Will you marry me? <gasps> oh, of course I will. Nothing would make me happier than to be Mrs. Quagmire. Hey, man. <laughs> I see you got some seaweed on your tail. Where? What? Oh, you know I'm just playing with you. <laughs> man, you all, oh, oh. I thought you were talking about the other seaweed. <laughs> you know I got jokes. <laughs> I'm going to slap you in my fin. Man, I never would have thought Quagmire'd get married. Nah, nah, I know Quagmire, and I'm telling you, this has got to be some kind of prank. You know, like that prank I pulled on Ashton Kutcher. Ashton, come here. <laughs> eh, you've just been tomahawked. That's my show. Tomahawked. So, how's the weaning going? No, oh, it's horrible. Giving up breast milk is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I'll bet the Founding Fathers had an easier time writing the Bill of Rights. All right, we're done. You think the language in the Second Amendment is clear enough? You know, about the right to bear arms? Of course it's clear. Every American has the right...